What's up, guys? So, it's been a long time since I've done a vlog or anything like that. And today is going to be, well, kind of a vlog, kind of a uh, Shoki Cave update. Now, um, the new Shoki Cave has been sort of assembled for a while, um, but uh, not totally, as uh, I haven't put, well, most things on a shelf. Um, and it only took having to put up a Christmas tree to get Detolfs in place, and obviously not even remotely close to getting Gundams put in said Detolfs. However, yesterday, we made my trip to an Ikea, and I got the best I needed to fill in that hole. Now, one thing that's interesting, so I always surmised that Unicron would fit in there, but I never knew. Turns out he does, so that'll give me a cool little movie shelf that I want to do. Uh, what I'm going to do down here, I'm not entirely certain just yet. I do need to leave space down there to basically replicate what I did over there. Um, and then also have shelves here. So I want to get my flame toys, big bots, here, somewhere. And then... Uh, I don't know what else will go down there. So at some point I'm going to have to build out another Planet X shelf. I don't know if it'll be down there or here or even down there. I've got plenty of room still. Uh, I need to put up my Beast Wars figures, which are there. So they can fill out a shelf to a degree. Uh, maybe I'll put those guys down there. I'm not entirely certain. But um, this was a big, a big thing because that allows me to get a lot more done. Actually, I need a shelf for the Ark, which is over there. So maybe that's something I'll do right below Unicron. Maybe I'll do the Ark right there. So I'll do my like Ark set here, and then maybe Flame Toys below that. We'll see. Because i got to leave enough space to figure out how the door will go on there. Either that or I'll go with the shorter door. So that's the other thing. Is I have a door that I was going to put on on that guy down there to cover where the lighting goes but I might be giving up too much space if I do that go with the large door uh, so maybe I'll go with the smaller door that I already have which is back in here and that'll give me a little bit more vertical space because realistically like I don't need that much space for all the power cords and stuff like that so I could change that up I guess I, essentially I could do that over here too if I really feel like it uh, and then I'll just have a big ass door that I don't have anything to do with for now. Because I won't need a door down there for a little bit, but I will need one over here so I can determine where my shelves go. Ultimately. Huh. That's a thing. That's a thing. Also need to figure out, I forget how, <laughs> how the shelves attach for when there is the, the door there. But the goal for today, that's what I was getting at, was to go ahead and kind of get this determined set up and then you know all the stuff down there will just be for whenever i'm ready to light this guy down the line and then uh actually i don't know if i'll put well maybe i'll put the arc in there because down the line one other thing is i could still put a full-size billy there and move the little one elsewhere because frankly i don't have enough room for my backlog in just that one spot but if i move the arc that'll give me a little bit more room plus i can still put stuff up top uh, which kind of like how I've done over yonder. It is kind of cool though, like the details on top of the thing down there gets me to the same height as the Billy's, and the feet underneath the Besta gets me to the same height as Billy's. So it's really neat that that works. And if I was ever so inclined, I could in fact put a whole nother thingy right on top of the details and have a whole thing up there. If I really want to, I could literally buy the same thing I've got there, put it up on top, but mount it to the wall, so it's not sitting on the details, basically, but I, I've got to get all that figured out at some point. But because my room is now unusable, can't even use my desk at the moment, because it's pushed so far back, um, I mean, I guess I could, I just got to do this. So ultimately, get stuff on the shelf, I need to start unpacking boxes that are taking up space in the closet in there. So that I can see if I can ultimately clear out enough floor space in there to get the review desk in there like I initially planned. 
because if I could do that, then I'll have more floor space. I won't have stuff taking up room in here for the display itself. Um, I mean, it's going to take some work to probably get it to fit. I think it should, depth-wise and width-wise. It's just I've got to clear out the space in there. But I also really want to get things on the shelves. Like, I've got my 5G Toys collection that is just chilling over there. I don't have any of my Power Ranger stuff up. I don't have any of my... Uh, or I have only, like, half of my NECA stuff set up. Then again, I might get rid of the whole uh, Back to the Future collection. I'm not sure. I might. I don't, I don't know if I really care that much about it. i still got to get my Dragon Ball section up. And because I've subbed out my... My... Uh, Flame toy stuff there. I don't know where my Dragon Ball stuff will go. Hmm. Kind of a problem. Either that or if I rework the shelves over here to include flame toys, that'll be another thing. Because over here, I think I'm going to end up with only my Thundercats and more combat statues if I even hold on to more combat statues. Oh, the other main change out here. So. The skinny billy ended up out here. This is going to be my Demon Slayer statues. Uh, and possibly uh, Batman uh, or other comic book stuff like that. I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to put there. Because I have a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of stuff along those lines, realistically, that I can do. But I've still got room above, at least for storage. So if I've got big boxes that I need to store... At least temporarily, they're not going to live up there forever. Because eventually I do want to build out the top of this, like a rooftop for all the gargoyles. I think that would be pretty badass. Um, ah, my nose is running. Now, yeah, well then i got to figure out what I'm going to do with all of my uh, Star Trek ships. Because they're just out and about. Kind of just interfering with every possible shelf. Um... And I still thought about maybe adding floating shelves. Oh, I forgot to put away the Santa hat off the way off the Chief up there. That's funny. Anyways, I thought about floating shelves for the Star Trek ships. That might be okay. You know, I don't, I don't think that would be too terrible, realistically. So, just looking around, figuring it out. Because I've still got all of my Power Ranger stuff that I have stowed away. All my 5-2 toy stuff. So, in theory, I could get a lot of Power Rangers stuff right here. Because it'll just go with the Megazords. And, like I said, I uh, might move the Flame Toy stuff. Because it's just sort of crammed in here. I got the ponies I haven't got. I've got... I think this is Ryo, right? Yeah, so Ryo. I might put him away for now. So, I might store some stuff until... I get other things, you know, or I might utilize those shelves over there, like move that, move that one up and give myself some more space and then put, uh, uh, put the DBZ stuff there. Like I kind of had it before, but then I've got all that space down there and I still got two shelves I haven't even used for Billy's. So I've got space down there. I've got space down there. And the thing is, for small sp or for low spaces, it's either going to be storage or things that don't need to be seen <laughs> directly all the time. So, I've got a box of Power Rangers, and so that's all Power Rangers and other stuff. And I'm getting rid of the Lightning Collection, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, I'm getting rid of all my mainline Transformers that aren't Studio 86 or Beast Wars. At least for the time being. Actually, I could put all my... If I dig out all my Studio 86 stuff, that would be interesting to put all of that with uh, Unicron, too. Like, instead of doing the Legends scale, just put the Studio 86 stuff there, including the Dinobots. That might be kind of cool. We'll see. Because <laughs> I don't have a full lineup yet for those guys. But in the meantime... Uh, also, my desk is a horrendous mess. So, I need to work on getting stuff on the shelf so that I can be done on this side of the room so I can move some stuff around so that I can get into the closet, put boxes away, and pull boxes out that I need and or don't need. And then go from there. 
because I got a lot of stuff in there. So I've got Gunpla Backlog that's taking up space that I can now pull out and stuff like that. That'll probably make a big difference out here. Oh, and the other thing is, so because of that weird bump in the floor, this is still not perfectly level. Uh, it's close, but it's only being held level by the Vesta. So this is still unlevel, as you can see. But, you know, it's close enough. If I put another tall billy there, it would be really wonky. Like, it would be super off. Uh, just because of that weird ridge in the floor, and I don't know what the hell. So I've still got two lower shelves that I'm not utilizing down there. I could probably put more Transformers I don't care about down there. Uh, and then work. So this is the problem, is trying to get any kind of plan together. I do just need to work at it, I think. And like my spawn stuff, I don't really care about that. I could probably pack it up. Just get rid of it. Spawn and Dark Knight. I'm already getting rid of figures. I might as well get rid of other stuff. And that's something I need to do this week is make a, make a appointment to go do that. Oh yeah, Plunderlings. I need to have this. I need this guy out so that I can review him with that guy. Very important. And yeah. So those bottom shelves are going to be useless for right now. But getting all Star Trek ships lined up is going to be a very important thing to do. Oh, I need to do some work here with Primer Armor. Get him back the way I wanted to be. Huh. So, like, I'm just looking up there. It looks cool. Hmm. Because I'm trying to think if the best of would be a better use of these guys. Because I kind of want all my Transformer stuff over there. With the exception of the 5-2 Toys stuff. Because it sort of still works on this plane of existence, as it were. And I need to get my... Uh... Demon Slayer statues out of the closet to put out there, so that'll start my start my shelves out there. And I've still got yeah, I've still got plenty of room to work with the action figures I've got and the action figures I need to get to. So a lot of work. Now I'm gonna set up, try to time lapse, put on podcasts or something to listen to, and go from there. I'm gonna have to hook everything up right now because nothing nothing is hooked up power wise. Maybe over there. Okay, shit balls. Let's get to it, I guess.
that was a lot. So, I did it. I mean, holy shit, I did it. Like, that has been my plan since we moved in. Now, realistically, what was taking up all the room in there was all the Gunpla boxes. Now, I still have hundreds of Transformers boxes and statue boxes and stuff like that, but look, it fits. I can park my chair right here, which is why I think I'm going to reorient reorient the, the desk. I still need access to the internet, which is on that side, but I think if I turn the desk this way, that'll allow me to roll over there to do reviews. Actually, very similar to how I used to have it, if I'm honest. So, actually, no, because I had two chairs. So if I had a second chair, I could have a second chair now. Holy shit. So I have a second chair for doing reviews, though it might still be prudent because I have more room this way than this way, I think. Um, but now I've got to figure out a lot more of this. But hey, look, I got, I got my Flame Toys guys there. I got my thingy there. And that's probably not going to be permanent, but it actually doesn't look terrible. It fills out the space pretty nice. Flame Toys guys are a little bit low, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, if nothing else, I would drop those down. Make a little more, make a little more spacey space. Fuck me, though. Okay. It is currently 2.50. All right. That leaves me some time to rework some stuff in here, but not much. Um, actually, I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now. Oh, my head hurts. Uh, my desk actually needs to come this way. I forgot I pushed it that way pretty far. Um, if I reorient it, that would put all my wires going that way. Which, I don't know if that would be a terrible plan or not. It would keep that from being my background, and this would be my background, except I have no lights for that. But it still looked pretty good. I might wait for the wifey for that, because the desk is really heavy and hard to maneuver. But if I turn it that way, as long as I got room to open up the detail, or the base of the detail over there and the base of the, de the thing over here, I think that'll be okay. As long as I have enough room for that because I got to get to electronics. Uh, the only problem I have now is running power to that. Now I think, okay, so there is a plug back there. So the funny thing is this is a lot like my old space. The other thing I could do, it's very similar. Uh, before I could I know I've got power in there I only need one outlet so I could just run that down there put the plug on the floor run it under the door and then in the back side there I might be able to do that might hmm. either way honestly happy and I mean it's perfect like that is I measured I measured back in the day when we moved in to see if this would work and it works now the only thing is uh, that, so I would have to swap that out for, uh, 5,000 bulbs if I wanted to have overhead light, which actually would help. Um, that looks like a same kind of dual, dual bulb setup that we have everywhere else. But for right now, I need a break. I think it was kicking my ass. Uh, oh, I got my Tanjiro and my Nezuko statues ready to go. I set that, st that there, but I don't know if that's going to be good enough. If I'm honest, but I need to come out here where it's cooler. It's just getting too hot in there. Take a break. So, 